The prosecutor in the Georgia in Georgia has set court dates for former President Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. They're both charged with 13 counts in the election interference case. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now in the studio with more. Dick. Well, Christine, the Fulton County DA says she wants to arraign Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and their 17 co-defendants the week of September 5th. This is both Trump and Giuliani get ready to surrender by the August 25th deadline. Rudy Giuliani says he will turn himself into authorities in Georgia next week. This comes as he rants and mocks the prosecutor in the case. You will go to jail for 100 years under RICO. The former mayor is charged in a RICO or racketeering case, something a younger Rudy Giuliani used against the mob in the 1980s. This is a great day for law enforcement, but this is a bad day, probably the worst for the mafia. But now that the tables are turned, Giuliani says the law doesn't apply here in this case. This is a ridiculous application of the racketeering statute. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has proposed a March 4th trial date for former President Trump and his co-defendants, and that will create a kind of courtroom gridlock. That's one day before Super Tuesday and weeks before Trump is set to go on trial in Manhattan. And don't forget the two potential special counsel trials in January and May. The question, can D.A. Willis really get a trial going in just six months? I think the defense will need more than six months to prepare, and I think striking a jury is going to be very, very difficult in this case. All 19 defendants are expected to be processed at the Fulton County Jail. Doesn't matter your status. We, we have mugshots ready for you. Trump says he will hold a press conference on Monday to discuss the case, but his former vice president says he has no case at all. The Georgia election was not stolen. Tonight, a Texas woman has been charged with threatening to kill the judge overseeing the Georgia case. Authorities say Abigail Jo Schrey left a threatening voicemail that included a racial slur at the office of Judge Tanya Chutkin. She also allegedly threatened all Democrats in Washington. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.